Welcome to the Water Environment Research Foundation's Terry tutorial in putting your data. This tutorial will walk you through how to enter data correctly into the tool to evaluate resource recovery to assess your plant's potential to recover phosphorus. Once you have determined that Terry is an appropriate tool for you to use, it is time to get started. There are several important types of data that you will want to have readily available. They include the flow rate and the total nitrogen and total phosphorus concentrations in the influent, the effluent, and side streams, the total nitrogen and total phosphorus NPDES permit limits if they exist for the facility, an average hourly labor rate for the operators and or the maintenance staff who would be involved in handling nuisance struvite formation or would be involved in operating and maintaining a nutrient recovery process, and information on current chemical addition occurring at the facility including feed rate, solution strength, and unit cost. When you first open the Terry tool, this page will appear. To start entering your facility data, click on the Start tab at the bottom of the screen or the Start Page Navigation button. All of the data entry will occur on the Start page or links directly off of this tab. This is an overview of the Start page. Data can only be entered in the green cells. Let's begin with the top section, which is labeled Overview. In the first box, type in the state, province, or country in which the facility is located. The total phosphorus and the total nitrogen limits come directly from the plant's NPDES permit. If the plant currently has no TP or TN limit, a zero is entered in the appropriate box. Does the plant use supplemental carbon? Many plants with low TN limits will feed methanol or another supplemental carbon chemical to drive additional denitrification. Ferric and or alum may be used to precipitate phosphorus. Enter yes or no in these boxes. The next section is entitled Cost-Benefit Input Data. This section allows the Terry outputs to be customized to emphasize the benefits that are most important at a specific facility. Clicking on either of these two green cells will open additional screens where data can be entered. This input sheet is where you weight the criteria to put emphasis on the factors that are most important at your facility, such as facility performance, environmental factors, economic impacts, financial aspects, or risk management. It may be helpful to have an internal meeting with other key decision makers and stakeholders to discuss each one of these criterion and decide jointly what weighting each should receive. Once the cost-benefit data has been entered, we need to go back to the start page to enter data in the process specifics section. You have the option of selecting the current solid stabilization process at the facility, either anaerobic, aerobic, or no solids handling. You will then be prompted to enter process-specific data depending on your selection. In the case studies, we will look at the detailed entries for the process-specific inputs. If you answer yes to the question, are the side stream characteristics known, the red box pops up. Click on the red box to enter the side stream data. In the green boxes, enter the raw influent, final effluent, dewatering side stream and solid stabilization sludge cake data that you have. If you do not have data for a certain parameter, leave those green boxes blank. The blue boxes contain calculated numbers that are based upon the other numbers that you enter. Back on the start page, the next section to be completed is on chemical specifics. This data will be used in the cost analysis. If you're not using a specific chemical, use the default value. You can always come back to these values and update them at a later time if you get better cost and concentration information from a local supplier. Scrolling down the start page, the next section to be entered is the labor and solids disposal specifics. This data is critical for the cost analysis portion of Terry. If the capital and O&M costs that the model is calculating seem too high or too low, you can click on the green box in any of the bottom four boxes, select yes, and then enter your cost estimate here to override the calculation in the tool. To enter financial data for the baseline scenario, click on the green box to open the input screen. This screen captures any data you may have on costs for controlling nuisance struvite formation at your facility. If you enter specific data in this sheet, it will break the links in the spreadsheet. It is recommended that you save an original version of Terry prior to entering this data. 
This way you will still have a version with the links intact in case you want to start a new evaluation. Now that you have done the hard part and entered all of your data, it is time to review and interpret the results. Details on this are covered in the next tutorial segment entitled, Terry Tutorial, Interpreting Your Results.